to the book of Colossians. Colossians. Let them go. Let them go. A witch never is a witch. A witch is a witch. A witch will never change. A wizard will never change. Let them go blind. Amen. In Amen. Thank you, Father. Colossians chapter number one, verse number fifteen. Are we on? Colossians chapter number one, verse number fifteen. Are we on? Colossians one, verse number fifteen. I'm using the enemy. I read from the King James, and I use the enemy to teach. Colossians one fifteen says. Let's start from verse fourteen, please. It says, "In whom we have redemption through His blood, even the forgiveness of sins." Of sins. Verse fifteen. Who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature? Verse sixteen. For by Him were all things created uh, that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and, un and invisible. Whether they are thrones or dominions or principalities or powers or the principalities or powers or all things were created by him and for him. Verse 17. And he is before all things and by him all things consist. Verse 18. And he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the first one from the dead. That in all things he might have the, the preeminence. Father, bless your word this afternoon. We give God an honor. Amen. Jesus Christ, let me pray. Amen. Can we have our seat? Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Let's and gentlemen, friends, hear me very well. <laughs> hear me well, ladies and gentlemen. When you are in the right place, you bring forth fruits. Let's and gentlemen, A beautiful day. Means the game was beautiful, but the man's life was not beautiful. So if you're in the wrong place, you bring forth wrong fruits. I will tell you. When you're in the right place, fair will speak for you. In the right place, you don't labor, you go pray by fair. I pray for somebody that in this very nation, you will not labor anymore. Things are easy for me. Yes, sir. Yes. Others 
Christ affirms that Jesus Christ is fully God. Jesus Christ is fully God. And I said today that we don't have the gospel of the cross anymore. We don't have the gospel of the cross of salvation or repentance. No. Today it just comes. Uh, uh, come and sow today and you'll have the breakthrough tomorrow. That's deception. I can tell you deception. If you can pray for yourself, things will happen. Sure. And the disciples came and said, Master, teach us how to pray. Don't pray for us. Teach us how to pray. But today we don't want to teach people how to pray because we want people to be subjected to us. When I said us, I'm talking about my office as a pastor. Are we together? Are we together? We speak in parables. Hallelujah. I said, Hallelujah. Teach us how to pray. So we are living in the end time where there's deception from the pulpit. So you need to understand as a son what it takes and it's by the person of the Holy Spirit. If the Holy Spirit is not with you, you will be seen. Don't go by the by, don't go by the titles we carry, the apostles, the prophets. Don't go by those titles because most of them today are fake. I'll say the truth. I'm not losing my money. I'll say that truth. A lot of us today are fake. None of God. Many were called, only few were chosen. Yes, Many called themselves, few were chosen. Because if God truly really calls you, you preach about the master. Yes, and Christ is the only master. If you are preaching the Bible, Christ is the center and him only. Nothing to do with you and me. Hallelujah. Amen. The supremacy of Christ. That's why many are in church. But they are living in captivity. They are in church. They are going to church. They are paying tithes and offering. But they are living in captivity. Nothing is happening in their life. Why? They are being deceived. Are we together? Yes, sir. Are we together? So the true gospel is there to bring us back to the place of salvation. The place of the cross of Calvary. To bring us to the place to understand the supremacy of Christ. Ladies and gentlemen, there's no greater power than Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Yeah. There's no greater power than Jesus Christ. So if you understand the supremacy of Christ, spiritual warfare becomes easy for you. Because we pray in the name of Jesus. We pray in the name of Jesus. Something in the name of Jesus. 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 So the supremacy is simply means Christ Jesus is God Almighty. John chapter number 10, verse 30. Can we all open? Please be ready to change. Now everybody open the Bibles. And I said everybody must come to church with their Bibles. Why? Because it's an end time where they can pervert the scriptures in front of you and you don't know. So then to reach for your Bible, John, everybody, John chapter 10, verse 30. Everybody. John 10, 30. Jesus says, I and my father, we are? Wow. Yeah, well, that talks about what? It talks about, it affirms Jesus as fully God. Almighty. He affirms Jesus as, as, as a supreme man. Because Jesus said, I and my father, we are one. We know God the Father, God the Son. We know God the Holy Spirit. So Jesus says, I and my Father were one. Is that the supremacy of Christ? That He is the creator of the heavens and the earth. Are we together? Yes, Let's look at John chapter 1, verse 1. Now, John 1, verse 1. Are we all there? Yes, John chapter 1, verse 1. John 1, verse 1. I don't want to quote it, I want us to read it. John 1, verse 1. It says, In the beginning was. Was the word and the word was with God. The word was with God and the word was God. So the word was with God and the word was God. So Jesus Christ is the word that was with God and He is the word that is God. How is it? Mathematics is easy. He is God Almighty. From the scripture, we are looking at the supremacy of Jesus. Jesus Christ is not a prophet. I told you about this one time I went to one of the shops here to buy. <laughs> Thank God the Holy Ghost will be that lady. I could have slapped that lady. Why? Pastor, why you? No, no, no. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me open up. How could you be? You are called a super Christian. And you are addressing Jesus as a prophet. To a pastor. Not to me, to me. Not pastor, to me. Because we all are different. We are different. To me. That I live by the scripture. You are telling me my master is a prophet. You are telling me your creator is a prophet. It's insulting. Thank God for the laws of the country. A Christian says Jesus Christ is a prophet. Scripture says he is God Almighty. He is God Almighty. Go to verse 2. He said he was with God in the beginning. And through him everything was formed. Nothing was made that was made. But by him and through him, everything was created for him and by him. So he has a he is God Almighty. He is Elohim. Are we together? Yes, sir. Are we together? So if you look at it, it means that Jesus Christ is above all. 
above all and over all. Which means that Jesus Christ holds the first place. He is supreme. He is supreme. So Jesus Christ is God's final revelation to us. For he is an image of the invisible God. God's final revelation about himself to us is Christ. It's all feeling. Feeling. You are, as you have seen this feeling, you have seen the Father. So Jesus Christ is an image of the invisible God. You want to know how God looks like the Father? Look at the Son. For I am a Father. So say the supremacy. Say the supremacy of Christ. Number one, Christ Jesus is the image of the invisible God. Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1. Can we all come to Hebrews? Hebrews 1, verse 1. Are we all there? Titus 21, Hebrews. Titus, we have 21, we'll go to the book of Hebrews. 1 verse 1. Are we there? The enemy says, in the past, God spoke to our forefathers through the prophets at many times in various ways. But in these last days, we are living in the last days. We are living in the end time. In these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. Ladies and gentlemen, no one should deceive you that Christ cannot speak to you. No one should deceive you that only he can hear God for you. You can hear God for yourself. You can hear Christ. John 10 verse 28 and 27 today. Jesus said, my sheep, 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 I know them and they follow me. It is the pastor to hear God for you. My sheep. So anyone can be a sheep. I am a sheep of his passion. How is it? Let's talk to He said, but in this last day, he has spoken to us through his son, by whom he appointed her. Of all things, and to whom he made the universe. So without Christ, there's no creation. Christ is the one who created the heavens and earth. In him is life. And the light is the light of men. In Genesis 1 verse 3, he said, Let there be light. So in Luke 4 verse 4, there was no creation in verse 4, Genesis 1 verse 4. There was no creation without light. So there's no creation without Christ. So Christ is the supremacy. He's supreme. He's a creator. As sons of God, in spiritual warfare, you need to understand the place of Christ and who he is. When I start to pray, I don't doubt. I don't doubt. Why? I know my authority. How? You must know Christ. Please know Christ for yourself. Know Jesus for yourself. Hallelujah. Can we say the supremacy of Christ? Now, verse number 3 says, but Hebrews 1 3, he said, The Son is the radiance of God's glory. Let's end it. Let's go to the book of Philip, uh, Colossians 1, verse number 15. Let's go back to Colossians. Colossians, let's go back to Colossians. Go back to Colossians 1, verse uh, 15. Colossians 1, verse 15. Are we there? Colossians 1, 15. It says, Who is the image of the invisible God? Who is the image of the invisible God? So Christ is just an expression of the Father. Before Christ to serve us, he had to be the God man to serve us. So that he, he went through the feelings. He went through what we went through. He went through everything we went through. And finally took our sins and died on the cross. For him to understand the place. Hallelujah. So he had to be the God man to serve. Man could not serve man. It, it needed a God man. And Christ is the God man who needed to come to save us. The God man is called the Savior. The God man from God's of the world that he gave his son. The son now is the God man who came to save us from our sins. The God man, the supremacy of Christ. Hallelujah. Colossians 1 15, are we there? So he says, For he says, Who is the image of the invisible God? Christ is the image of the invisible God. So he is the exact representation of God's being, which means that he has the same character as God, the same nature as the Father. Is he is an express image. He is an imprint of the Father. The express imprint of the Father. So Elohim is not inferior. It's not superior. Elohim and Christ are the same. The God here, the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, they are all the same. The Holy Trinity. God the Father is the same as God the Son. God the Holy 
Holy Spirit is the same as God the Son. We have some spiritual truth. Because the Spirit of Christ is the same as the Spirit of God. The Holy Spirit. So, if Christ is not, if Jesus is not the same as the Father, the Holy Spirit is a spirit that proceeds from God the Father. And in the Bible says, if the Spirit of Christ in them, in Acts of chapter 16, he said, the Spirit of Christ declared us not to go into Asia. Talking about the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit is also called the Spirit of Christ, which means that the Father and the Son, they are one. So we say, God the Father, we hallow your name, we also hallow the Son. The supremacy of Christ. Someone say hallelujah. hallelujah. Someone say hallelujah. hallelujah. Romans chapter 8, verse number 9. Romans 8, 9. Romans 8, 9. I want us to finish so that we can have much time for our praise today. Romans 8, chapter. Romans chapter 8, verse number 9. Says. Romans 8, 9 says. You, however, are controlled not by the sinful nature, but by the spirit. Look at the spirit that is chapter S. Are we together? Chapter S talks about the Holy Spirit. But by the spirit. If the spirit of God lives in you. Now the Holy Spirit is the spirit of God. If the spirit of God, that's why first John 4 4 says, greater is he that is in me. Talking about the person of the Holy Spirit. Now it says, if the spirit of God lives in you, and if anyone does not have the spirit of the spirit of the spirit of Christ. The spirit of, Christ. the spirit of God is the same as the spirit of Christ. The spirit of God is the same as the Holy Spirit. Which means that Christ is equal to the Father. The supremacy of Christ. Hallelujah. If anyone does not have the spirit of Christ, he does not belong to Christ. So the spirit of Christ is an identity to a soul. He is the one that identifies you as the Son of God. The Spirit of Christ in you. The Holy Ghost in you. I feel the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Go to verse number 10. He said, But if Christ is in you, if Christ is in you, your body is dead because of sin. Yet your spirit, the small as it is your spirit, my spirit is the small as Yet your spirit is alive. So the Holy Ghost comes to give life to a dead spirit when the person repents. In sin you die. In sin you die. The way you repent and accept Christ as a Lord and Savior, the Holy Spirit comes to give life to your mortal spirit. Therefore, you become a child, a son of God, by adoption. And that's only at the cross of power. Someone said, Bring back the cross. Shall say, Bring back the cross. Shall say, Bring back the cross. Philippians chapter 1, verse 9. Philippians 1, verse 19. Sorry. Philippians 1 verse 19. Philippians 1 verse 19. We are looking at the supremacy of Christ. For I know that through your prayers and the help given by the Spirit of Jesus Christ. Philippians 1 verse 19. Are we all there? Yes, sir. Can we all go home, please? Yes, Let me read from your Bible directly. Because the man here might change it. So read what is in your Bible. Can we all go on to go? Verse 1 and 10. For I know that through your prayers and the help given by the Spirit of Jesus Christ, what has happened to me will turn out for my deliverance. The Spirit of Christ Jesus. Can you see that? So Christ is the image of the invisible God. Supremacy of Christ. Number two. So we, number two. For by him all things were created. Can we open to Colossians 1 verse 10? Colossians 1 16. This will help me in spiritual warfare. Colossians 1 16 says, For by him were all things created that are in heaven and on earth, visible or invisible, whether thrones, whether rulers, whether authorities or powers. All things were created by him and for him. So he has the ability, he created them. So when I say the name of Jesus, principalities must bow. When I say the name of Jesus, rulers and authorities must bow. But you must say the name of Jesus in holiness. In holiness. The name has power. That name carries power. It's not just a common name. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There is no human being living on earth without a name. There 
is no man living on earth without a name. Which means that your name is important. Likewise, we have physical names and we have spiritual names. If you have evil spiritual names, please you have to pray against it. Evil spiritual names to say they went fail. That way, when you become born again, you are given a new name. He said, I'll give you a new name and I'll write it on the white stone. I'll give you a new name. So when you become born again, you are no longer called Paul. You are called, he gives you a name in the spiritual realm. So he noticed you or he noticed you by that name. That is the name written in the book of life. Not the name Paul or Emmanuel or Peter. These names are not found in the book of life. They give you a different name. Likewise, in the spiritual realm, even names are not Emmanuel, are not Peter, are not Paul. No, they have a quotation, even names. And this is the name. If you call a witch by their evil spiritual names, they die. Are you know? I'm giving you something. So they hide it from you. If you call them by their spiritual names, after midnight, they die. You can call the name and invoke them, come here and die. If you know the name spiritually, do you know the names? How do you know the names? You must be a son of God in the spirit. That's why before they kill someone, they invoke their name on that altar. They call their name. When they call their name, they put the image out here. And they start. Father, as I pray. Anyone that has been calling your name on the altar, in the name of Jesus. let the altar go down by fire. Yeah. Go down by fire. Yeah. Go down by fire. Yeah. Anyone planning to terminate you on an altar, Father, I stand here and I foresee that plan. Yeah. I foresee that plan. Yeah. Like a snake, 
<laughs> I looked at her. I said, you want to be saved? I told her. First, before his country, the woman made from the forehead. She looked at me, she said, eh. I said, when I speak, you shut up. When I speak, you see. I told He 
they will speak verse 6. But Christ is faithful as a son over God's house. Christ is faithful as a son over God's house. The supremacy of Christ. He is over the supremacy. He is over. He is blessed over. He is a creator of the church, the body. Not the pastor. The pastor does not have the final say. It is Christ that has the final say. You are nobody. You are nothing. In him is life. And it's life. Let's talk those things that we are wanting. Unto dust we came. Unto dust. If you stand one day and give an account, rather let us give him the glory. Glorify him alone as pastors, as apostles. Give him the glory. Not you. You are just a vessel. He is a vine. You are just a branch. If the vine stops flowing, the branch is useless. Someone shall have it. Hallelujah. The devil has failed. That's what I'm Don't be distracted. So, hallelujah. I know what will happen today. So, let's continue. So, we're talking about the he's the head of the body called the church. So, uh, the church is simply the body of Christ, an assembly of believers, ecclesia, a congregation of saved people. That they come in there to glorify the master, the head. But today we see that church is not a place of believers. It's a place of businessmen. That we don't even fear the head. There's not even head. The head is a man, not Christ. When the head is a man, expect anything of flesh to manifest them. Yes, sir. Expect manipulations. Expect when, when flesh is at work, expect anything. But when Christ is at work, expect the kingdom. In our lives. All we need is Christ. Yes, we can function through a man, I agree with you. But who is a man? Where are the men? As I said, send me Lord. We see that there were so many people in Israel. He said, Who shall we send? Means there were so many people, but it is anyone to send. There are so many people standing here today, but God is not sending them. Let's touch on the Lord. I speak in parables. As I said, send me. They God not see many people preserve them physically with their hearts. Their hearts. Their hearts. Their hearts were not right. So if you not send them, if you send, if you send a man who stands his daughter with God, expect anything. Okay, what's what talking about? Okay, now look at the servant of Elisha. Elisha servant, he has correct. When they came and he prayed for him, he said, No, take your things and go. I don't need them. I don't need these things. Okay? So, if you went back to Yeshua and was praying, follow Yeshua with God. The servant ran after, ran behind, ran. And when I met him, he ran to me there. Sir, my servant, I don't know. Sorry, my master, I don't know what's wrong with that man. I don't know, I don't know. Please give me those things. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, give me. When the man of God rejected, the servant went to collect. When the man rejects something, don't collect it. When a true servant of God rejects something, don't collect it. Don't collect it. Hallelujah. Don't collect it. He went and collected that the person. That thing was rejected. It was first rejected. So he has an entire Why? His heart was not right. Even though he was a seller of a lunch. After Elisha passed away, he ought to be the one carrying that anointing. The residue of Elisha ought to be in the house. But when the Bible so he was it was not Gehazi. A man whose body was placed in the uh, in the tomb. The Bible said they went to bury somebody, and they saw it as coming. They threw the person in the tomb of Elisha. Elisha was already buried. They threw a dead man on his body. That man woke up. Which means the anointing was still there. The anointing was in the Where was the person? Gehazi was not there. His hand was not right. Most of us standing here, our hands are not right. With God. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> I speak in parables. Let me continue. Hallelujah. So he is the head of the body. So Christ is the head of the body, not the pastor. So we see that not he is not here to build a business place. He's here to build a church. And you are the church. He's about to be.
So I said, Lord, build my life. I said, Lord, build me. I said, Lord, build me. I don't pray prayers of God bless me. I don't pray prayers of God. Lord, give me money. That one is gentle prayer. The only prayer I pray, Lord, reveal yourself to me. I draw you closer to you. That's all. If you ask, don't tell me. That's my prayer. That's all. Pastor, don't give me money. I don't. When you have twice all things happening, yes, sir. Don't pray for money. Seek Christ. Lord, reveal yourself to me. I want to know you more. Show me yourself. Show me your glory. Draw me closer to you. Teach me. Reveal to me the mission of the kingdom. That's what I pray. That's what I pray. Not God bless me. Give me expand my bank account. It's a useless prayer. Don't get me wrong. We are. They are different levels. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A baby can prepare us. Let me know. So, is it, it is the head of the body called the church. To the church, if I may say, if I, I didn't say all, not all, but many has failed. One, we no longer preach a sound doctrine of promises. We've changed from the Bible to preaching the world. Impressing the world, living like the world. I will say, that, I will say Christ in the church. It's not Christ. The kingdom of God is righteousness. Peace. Join in. So his purpose is to build a church. Why? To show the principalities. The manifold wisdom of God. The power of God is dispersed to the church. So God is looking for a vessel to manifest truth. It might be you. It might be you. Are you ready? Are you ready? Hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 10. Ephesians 3, verse 10, what we just read. His intent was that now, through the church, the manifold wisdom of God should be made known to the rulers and authorities, to principalities, to powers. Through the church. Which church? The church he built. The church living in obedience, in holiness and righteousness, subjected to the head called Christ. Built on the revelation of Christ and the true gospel. So again, it's on the revelation of the true gospel that the church is truly built. Not your ideas. And I said, what seems right to men might be wrong to God. Don't try to do things to please men. It is right before. You are, uh, the world is being so. Doesn't mean that God approves it. Please God, not men. Paul was saying, Are you not men pleasers? Or you are pleasing God? The church must please men. The world, not Christ. Call me anywhere is a reality. Talk to me, somebody. Please men. Shameful to say this. I'm a pastor. I'm just being realistic. People are to come with issues and they are solved in church. Is that when they come with issues in church, they are being duped in church to make the battle worse? Are we together? Yes, sir. Please talk to me if I'm lying. Are we together? Yes, sir. Christ is coming soon. So let's continue, please. So the last one is He is the regents of God's glory. Let's get ready for the praise, please. Let me just finish this. He is the regents of God's glory. Let's go back to Colossians 1, verse number 27. Colossians 1, verse 27, please. Colossians 1 27 says, To him God, to whom God will make known what is the riches of the glory of his mystery of this mystery amongst the Gentiles, Christ in you, the hope of God. Hebrews 1 verse 3. Hebrews 1 verse 3. Hebrews 1 verse 3. Hebrews 1 verse 3. The Son is the radiance of God's glory. The exact representation of his being, the righteous of the Father's glory. Hallelujah. Glory means the splendor, the holiness, the majesty of Elohim, of Yahweh, of Adonai. It means God's presence, the manifestation of his presence is the glory. The beauty of the Spirit is his glory. Moses says in Exodus 33, verse 18, Show me your glory. The first time Christ appeared to me, he has come to me separately. And he said to me, 
No. So I'm preaching not just a Bible, but somebody I know. I've seen it. The world can come upside down. I will be sure. I have seen it. I have seen it by the grace. Nothing can move me. I have seen it. The first time he came to me, I never wanted to be a pastor. Not me. I never, never, ever wanted or thought of being a pastor. Me is not true. My agenda was changed by him. And I have to, if I, I fought it, several, I fought it. I rejected the call to the pastor. Me, it's not possible. I rejected it. He said, go and tell the truth. So the first time he came to me, I remember during that time, I was just a church boy. Oh, somebody, tell him that I love you. Lift your hands together and praise the Lord. That's the church I was going to. Church that we hold somebody. That, I was going to that church. Hold somebody. When we go to church, me, I didn't say you, me. Me. Lord have mercy on me. We'll go where ladies are sitting. Where ladies are, we we'll go and sit there. Because that's all we want. Surely, 90% that's all we'll be sat in church. Hold somebody. <laughs> You're not holding the hand. You're looking for the waist. Oh, somebody. And if it's permitted, God is a suffering by the pastor. So you profit and hold. Can anything in church? You don't fear God. I'm telling the truth, sir. I'm honest. I've been there. Hold somebody. That is what is happening today. Corruption in church. Corrupted church. Canality seems right. Just very teaching is accepted. Corrupt church. So he came to me, and at that time I was crying that oh, I listened to one song Jimmy Lips. Where do I go from here? That song beat my heart, beat my soul, my spirit. I've never asked, remember, I was not born again. I was a John Goa. Who somebody? Yes, me talking to. Who somebody? I go only for that song. I go to church because they were singing that song. If they sing it that day, ah, the church was very good though. If they don't sing it, I'm angry. Not only me, most of my friends were coming for that. I'm just letting before God for mercy. In church! And I'll come very early and spot where they are sitting. And I'm going to ask God, where do I go from here? And I noticed that I was craving to know who God is, who Christ is. And I left my house, I went to a pastor of that church the whole somebody. I went to him on a Saturday evening, I'll never forget. I entered his office. Pastor, I came back and told him about Christ. I want to know him more and better. I left that office, he didn't tell me anything important. Shameful. That's why I studied Bible. I studied Bible to know Christ for myself. Shameful. He could not tell me anything. I left there, I was hungry. They were doing communion service, the present, the present communion. And somebody comes to surrender to Christ. You say, hey, just talk in the air, simple. Nothing was said to me. Shameful and pitiful. I left the church. I went to another church, the Baptist church next door. The pastor had traveled. I went home. I was, I was angry. I was angry knowing that God is already calling me. That it's your time to come over. I never knew. And when I sat that night, at about 9 p.m., I was just, I was just lying down like this on my bed. On the wall, I saw on the wall a light. It was a light was coming out from the wall. As it's coming out, it's coming out, it's getting to a human being. You cannot look at it. I couldn't see it. The glory, the radiation, sir, I couldn't look at it. And you know, he now became a real person. Ah, if you see Christ, you know me, you know the wicked to any human being. Yes, His eyes are very lovely. He's very tender, so gentle. Smile. When I, when I remember that, I cannot help a human being. I've seen Christ. That, that encounter alone, that first one. I have so many of them. The glory. He is a, he is a radiance of the glory of the Father. The Bible is true. I've seen it. And he came and looked at me and smiled. Smile. The clothes he was wearing was radiating lights. The, the white clothes was I could not see the feet. The, the glory I saw, listen to the man. He smiled and he left. He didn't say anything. He 
left. And I, I was not stepping. The glory is real. Christ is the ex, is the radiance of God's glory. I shall watch you then. Joshua chapter 2, verse 8. Dear children, continue in Christ. For so that when he appears, we may be confident and unashamed before him at his call. Christ is coming back soon. You need to understand the supremacy of Christ. Hallelujah. Christ in us is the hope of God. First John chapter 5, verse 20. He is the only true God and the eternal life.